Hello everyone, I hope you're all staying very safe and well in isolation. Uh, my name is Katrina Cleave, thank you for tuning in to the Lockdown Theatre Company. Um, I'm very proud to present the first show, it's called And You Are, written by Rowan Kandapa. Hope you enjoy it. The thing is, I'm not my voice. But sometimes, people hear how I speak, and they think they know who I am. But it's just the way I speak. A set of verbal traits, habits, that's all. Maybe they're inherited, maybe they're acquired, or a bit of both, but the thing is, my point is, they're not who I am. So why do we do it? Why do we judge each other so quickly? Why do we have this desire, this, this need to put each other in a pigeonhole as soon as we can? We're not pigeons, are we? We're people. I am a person. I am all the things I've ever done. I'm all the words I've ever said. I'm all the thoughts I've ever thought, the, the men I've kissed, the friends I've betrayed, the dreams I've dreamt. I am all these things, all these things, and more, and less, I suppose. <laughs> a while back, I was at a party. It was crowded and the wine was warm and I didn't really know anyone. So I was about to go when this man came up to me and said, and you are? <laughs> and I looked at him and thought about his question. Really, really thought about it. And I realized that I didn't know the answer. So I told him my name, because it seemed a good way out, and he told me his name, and then we talked. Exchanged information, shared opinions, made weak jokes that we laughed at louder than really deserved. And at the right moment, he looked into my eyes, and I looked into his. And that was enough to know how it would end. After it was all over, after we were lying there in that awkward silence, you know, that loaded silence of just having fun with someone for the first time, <laughs> that silence. To break the silence, he says, do you know what first attracted me to you? I didn't answer because honestly, I wasn't that interested. So he carries on. It was your voice. Yeah, it was the way you speak. I think I was supposed to be flattered. So, I got up, got dressed, and left. Didn't say a single word. <laughs> he hasn't rung. And you are. Ugh, what a question. What gave him the right to ask me that? And as if any of us have an answer. Or maybe that's not right. We all have answers. We all have an idea of who we are. But it's a constructed idea. Constructed within parameters, for a purpose, with an end in mind, in, in profile pictures, in status updates, in, in Instagram posts, in the bits of us we choose to share. Like me, accept me, make me welcome, love me. Don't leave me out here alone. This is my name. This is my job. These are the clothes I wear. This is the kind of place I come to. This is what I drink. This is what I think about something inconsequential or too consequential. <laughs> this is my smile. I will share with you at this moment so you can see what makes me smile at this moment. This is what I look like when I lie back on the bed with my legs apart. It's all a construction. Deliberate accidental, imposed, and all a fucking lie. And you are. I am. 
Why can't that be enough?